Today, we're going to check out the new episode of Reincarnated as a Sword. Let's jump into it. Look at but first, if you've seen my reactions before, you enjoy these, you enjoy isekai reactions, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. We're trying to hit 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which is very possible with your help. And if you enjoyed this video, then maybe consider liking and commenting because that helps a lot too. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. You think she can get this shit done all by herself? Just her on her own? Defeat the Goblin King, Goblin Queen, and the uh, Dungeon Master? I mean, she's running in there like she can, but I don't know. Oh, shit. Yo, my dog is strong. This man is some kind of demon, bro. Oh. Oh. Oh, is this before they ran into the dungeon themselves? The other guys? Oh, I like this. She has become the, the goblin slayer, dude. That is fucking crazy. They are such a good team. Dude, that is crazy. I would train myself to be able to use like a parallel thought. That is probably one of the coolest things to be able to think multiple different things, especially when it comes to like magic and shit. That's dope. Doesn't even look like heat, bro. What do you mean heat detection? This put like a negative on it. Yeah, booty hole. What is that shit? That man doesn't fucking struggle at all, dude. He's too goaded. Mm. Yeah, dude, she's way stronger than she than her rank would let you lead you to believe. King and queen. Damn, she cute. What's your name, girl? Damn, they are big as fuck, too. The king and queen? The goblin king and queen? Wow. They're massive. Damn, dude. That is fucking broken. Don't make noise. The fuck? Wait, wait, y'all aren't gonna take the the crystals from them? No, the dungeon master. That is like where the dungeon master is. If we see a statue sitting on a throne, I'm gonna get fucking worried, bro. Uh oh. What the fuck are all these? Massive ladybugs. Bro, are they about to get some level up here. Damn. For real. 30 minutes later? Yeah, she gotta be tired now. Wait, why doesn't he just do it all himself? Oh, they're all just being summoned here. Mmm. Oh. Alright, we'll take out the big red one and then you're good. Damn. You're, where you fuck you think you're going, huh? Oof. Level 17 now. She was 12 last time we checked, right? 6, then 12, and now 17. Oh. Kin summon. Uh-oh. You sure you don't want to maybe wait a little? Yeah, I was going to say wait a little. She needs some healing or something. Some, like, stamina replenish. Replenish stamina. I don't know. Something like that. 
Dang, she getting boosted. I'm still so surprised he didn't take the fucking... Oh, uh, well, I guess... I guess he didn't take the, the, the gems or whatever, the crystals from the king and queen. Because if he did, maybe they would get in trouble. So left them there so that way, like, the rest of the party can get it, you know? Oh, that is a fucking demon. Oh, yeah, we did see a demon at the end of the last one. Oh, my God. And sure enough, here goes an unforeseen circumstance that you were just saying, as long as there are none of, things will be fine. Looks like things won't be as fine as you thought they might be. Oh. Oh. So this is the dungeon master, not the goblin that we saw previously. Skill taker? Oh, fuck no. That's a skill that he wants for sure, though. This guy is a C rank monster, is what he said, right? I know he just mentioned something about B rank. Oh, maybe this is the dungeon master over there. Oh, so he's a B-rank monster. I thought he initially said C, but okay, he's a B-rank then. Has the capability of destroying an entire nation. That's wild. <sighs> Holy shit, that kind of scared me, dude. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, he outranks the fuck out of you. Why do you expect? Mmm, a danger sword. Is that sword also... No, it's not. I'm sure eventually we'll run into another, like, sentient weapon. Whoa! He has Jedi powers? That's cheating, bro. This man went invisible. Oh! Ding! He really disarmed her! That is crazy. That is crazy, bro! That man chopped off her hands. Her hands were like locked on in that fucking sword. That is wild, dude. Bro, how? How do your hands feel after that? How does it feel to just have them lopped off and then they just magically reattach? God, that's got to be such a weird feeling to go through. Oh, I love the fact that they actually described it just now. She can kind of feel them. They sting a little. Wow, that's really cool. I didn't expect them to actually, like, even talk about it much. A cloaking skill, maybe? Shadow magic? Is he coming out of her shadow? That's why he always appears behind, right? Shadow. Getsuga Tensho! <laughs> oh, that looks scary. Uh-uh. Dark magic always looks the coolest. It's always got this like purplish, except this one's like purple, red. I don't know, that's interesting. Yeah, flying, bro. Cheater. She gotta get that curry, bro. Dang, she is going off. Dang, okay, she actually landed some hits now. The thief's glove. All she has to do is like hold on to the sword and then he d if the sword just fights then it's good, right? Is that a weird thing to say? Or the sword could just fight him on his own while she's like 
running away. Essentially through this, all that's going on is Fran and Shisho are going through that dungeon, collecting up the crystals, and Shisho easily defeats the Goblin King and Queen. And then they find a door, they go through the door, they defeat all these bees or, or ladybugs or whatever. You know, she levels up a little. He actually levels up as well. They go into another door and that is where they run into the Dungeon Master, who is that shaman or goblin that's the dungeon master and the dungeon master has a greater demon a b rank demon it is the level of like a nation destroyer like this man is strong as fuck and he has the ability to take skill so they're battling through this and he ends up taking away her swordsmanship i'm wondering will it just be shisho on his own and how would he get her her skills back you know i feel like she would have to be involved in killing the demon in order to to get her skills back man that was cool. There's a lot of hype action, action sequences, fighting, all of that stuff is really dope. And also I do like the fact that it was crazy. I mean, it was crazy when she got her hands locked, but I love the fact that he said, how do you like, can you feel your hands? And she said, yeah, a little, but it stings. Like the fact that they even talked about it is like miles above anything else. Like most series, it was, you know, like they get their arm blown off and they just, I don't know, fucking meow, and then their arm just grows out and they just... <laughs> just for that little itty bitty thing alone, I have so much more respect for this. This is actually a really entertaining isekai skills game RPG elements. It's more entertaining than, than most, you know? And it's more like, like they gave a shit about it than most. And that's what I can really appreciate. With that said, I would love to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.